All right, so I made this video because I was genuinely interested. So I put in a lot of work. Probably I probably worked like two or three hours on just doing math and counting numbers, damage, and stuff like that. So we will see which class is better, Blaze Binder or the new Vampire Lord class at farming. Just farming. We're not going solo, PvP, anything like that. This is just a farming comparison video, which is what those two classes should be used for. Let's get into it. This video is suggested by Bot01. Thank you for that. I'll see you guys all after the intro. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a- Alright, so I have not done a class comparison video in a quite a while, I'm pretty sure. But uh, let's get into it. First thing I asked was what enhancements to use for a Vampire Lord. Uh, full luck won by 51%. So over half the people prefer full luck over any other enhancements. So that's what I used in this video for the class comparison. Of course, uh, the numbers and everything I give you would be different if you're using something like full wizard or a mix of wizard and luck. It would have took me probably a few more hours to test uh, both of those. And uh, yeah, that's not feasible for a YouTube video. Uh, but if you would like to try that out, uh, feel free. I will give you all the info I use for testing so you can compare your results uh, that I have for this video. All right, so the first thing you need to know is how the class was tested. So I'm level 80, so keep that in mind. So if you're level 85, which is the current cap in the game, uh, your numbers might be a little faster. There might be a little higher damage. Stuff like that will occur if you're a higher level or a lower level. Uh, plus or negative I used full luck and a stable weapon the stable weapon I used was a 30% damage enhancement I'm taking that into account of course so I use this uh, bring blade v2 that is the weapon I used for stable comparison and for non-stable I used this which of course has the wizard enhancement on it because I did the blaze binder test second these did have luck enhancements on them I tested that 100% uh, so this and this are the two weapons I used. Uh, all the other items stay the exact same. Uh, no damage buffing items, no secret damage buffing items or anything like that. I had this helmet on, uh, this cape on, and uh, yeah, Blaze Binder class and the, where is it? A Vampire Lord class, they're right next to each other. So that is all the items I used for the test. And of course they're enhanced differently every time I tested. The map I used, now I had, took a while to look around and find a map I wanted to use for this test. And I ended up choosing Lust, uh, Slash of Lust. This is a recent event, semi-recent. And if you go in this room, there's three targets, which is the average amount of targets you'll be fighting with a multi-target class is three, sometimes more, sometimes less. But three seems to be about the normal number of targets you'd be taking on and it seemed like a good number for this video. These have 7.7K HP, so they're not low HP, uh, but they're not really that high HP either. They're kind of in the middle, sort of. So we could get a decent amount of time on this. And they're level 52, so they're not low level, uh, but they're not too high level either. So this is about an average, I would say, for a, a monster to fight with a multi-target farming class. So these are the monsters I use this exact room, uh, and those are the items I use. So hopefully that helps you understand where I got the numbers from. All right, first I thought I'd go with the most surprising result, which was Blaze Binder. So I tested stable and unstable in both classes, and Blaze Binder was full wizard and Vampire Lord was full luck. But, you know, it's the same thing as the enhancements that you would probably use if you're using the classes. So that's what I use for this video. Of course, I could have compared them full luck to full luck or full whiz to full whiz. But I don't see the fun in that. So, because that's not what you would use on the classes. So, uh, for Blaze Binder, I tested Unstable first. Now, this was the most surprising result. Uh, for each test, I did five times. If I messed up the combo or anything, I restarted the time. Uh, but I did five separate times, and then I averaged them out. Uh, so you get the average amount of time. So the first test was 15 seconds. Second was 16. Uh, third was 14. Fourth was 13. And fifth was 16 seconds, respectively, for each one of those runs. That was with unstable. Now, of course, these numbers vary quite a bit, especially compared to... It, especially compared to stable uh so at uh, the time averages out to 15 seconds uh from five different wipes uh the wipe uh begins when the weapon animation raises and the damage number popped the first damage number popped on screen that's when the time started uh and when the time stopped is when you see the death animation for the last monster alive in the room so that's how i timed each of these from the beginning of the animation the attack animation to the last guy standing 
animation starting. So the death animation starting for the last guy, that's when I ended the clips for every single one of these uh, tests. So Unstable averaged it out to 15 seconds and was the highest time to kill. So it took the longest out of all four different tests I did today. Uh, Blazebinder Unstable was the worst by far, almost double uh, the time of every other test I had today. So do not use unstable weapons on Blazebinder. That is just shooting yourself in the knee uh, on purpose. So don't do that. But when I went to stable 30% with the Burning Blade V2, I just changed my weapon. That's all. Combo stayed the same. Every other factor stayed the same. The only factor that changed was the weapon. Uh, same enhancement on the weapon. Uh, Blaze Binder times for stable 30% were 7 seconds. 8 seconds, 8 seconds, 8 seconds, and 7 seconds, averaging out to 7.4 seconds. So you're going from 15 seconds at unstable to 7 seconds with stable 30% damage boost. So that's really insane. Uh, more than half the time. <laughs> so better than half the time, actually. So yeah, you definitely want to use stable 30% damage boost if you have it, or even stable 15% damage boost would still be better than unstable on Blaze Binder. So keep that in mind, and those are the numbers for Blaze Binder class. Oh, because I think this is important for the test, I already gave you numbers, but I thought I'd tell you the combo I used just in case you're trying to test against my tests or criticize my combo for some reason. Uh, I started off the uh, with 2, then used the 3 skill, then hit the 5. Uh, then I hit the spam 2 and 3 until the 5 was ready again, hit the 5 when it was ready, if it was ready, but on stable it never was, I never had to hit the 5 twice, but on unstable with the 15 seconds I did, so that is the combo I used for Blazebinder. Alright, Vampire Lord. Now I went to this video biased towards, uh, oh, slightly biased. Of course, this is an unbiased class comparison, but I was slightly biased towards uh, Blazebinder class because it's been in the game longer, I've used it longer, and I enjoy using the class. Now, Vampire Lord really surprised me, so we'll do the unstable times first. Uh, we have 9 seconds, 8 seconds, 8 seconds, 9 seconds, and 7 seconds to average out to 8.4 seconds. Uh, on average, that's the wipe time for the room. And of course, I explained how I got those times before. Uh, so we are averaging 8 seconds with unstable, on uh, Vampire Lord. Uh, my combo for Vampire Lord is, of course, now I don't know if this is the perfect combo, but this is what I used to test it, and uh, from my testing, if you had a better combo, it would actually make my results look even better. So uh, I used three because that damage boosts, and then that damage boosts your dot, so then I applied the dot, and then I hit the fifth skill, and then I spam the auto, I just spam click the auto attack, and hit the two skill after uh, after the five, so very quickly after I hit five, I hit two as soon as the haste was, as soon as the skill cooldown was ready, and then I just spammed one, and then waited for the cooldown on three to pop, and hit the three again, and uh, so on. So that was my combo for Vampire Lord. Uh, that's how I got the times for both. I did not. Uh, I used exact same combo for unstable and stable testing. Now for stable, thirty percent. Now this is the numbers that are the lowest out of all four so it wins so if you want the fastest farming class in the game and you're choosing between blaze binder and vampire lord pick vampire lord and go stable 30 percent damage uh the first wipe was seven seconds the second was six the third was six the fourth was six and the fifth was six so i think the seven seconds was the leg lag or something but I managed to get it to 6 seconds, uh, you're wiping in 6 seconds, 6.01 was the fastest wipe, so uh, I'm sure you could get it, get it down to 5 seconds, you do a 5 second wipe, I'm sure if you're level 85 easily, so average is up to 6.33, and that is with stable 30%, an average of 6 seconds to wipe compared to the lowest blaze binder wipe time, uh, which was stable 30% on blaze binder, uh, averaging at 7.46. So if we compare the averages to 7.46 uh, with the average of 6.33, uh, that's about one second difference. Now count it out, one. Uh, it's not that long, but of course something like that is going to add up, uh, but it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So you're not going to really notice a one second difference in killing uh, with Blazebinder and Vampire Lord. So my conclusion to this video, after I did all the testing and everything, Vampire Lord was honestly more fun to use, it's more involved, but if you don't want to be that involved in using the class and you just want to kind of chill out, Blaze Binder is probably better, it'll take one second longer to wipe if you're using 30% damage boost, uh, full wizard enhancement, 
but that one second really doesn't mean much uh, unless you're doing a really long farming if you're trying to optimize your times then vampire lord is going to be better and vampire lord is statistically better from my testing now i'm sure someone could do testing that would dispute that and i would love to see it so if you guys have any tests or if you did anything similar to this leave a comment down below if anyone else has any uh different opinions on these classes or if you want me to test any other classes i think i might do light caster and stone crusher next i think that's those are the classes i i feel like i'm gonna tackle next and use them as support classes and uh do a video on that because I feel like a lot of people are split on those two. So yeah, you can get Vampire Lord right now as a seasonal class. Make sure you pick it up. It is technically better than Blaze Binder. So thank you for watching this video. I didn't think that conclusion was going to happen and it really surprised me when I found out. So leave a like if you enjoy this kind of video and want to see more. If we get a lot of likes in this video, I'll definitely do more of these. Uh, like I said, Stone Crush and Lightcast are something I'm uh, considering and I have a few other ideas for class comparison videos similar to this one. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. Oh, uh, here is the fastest wipe out of all of the wipes I recorded today, 6.01 seconds, so over 6 seconds on the dot with Vampire Lords stable 30%. Thank you guys for watching the video again, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.